Press Start Adventures series review. This chronicles the adventures and misadventures of both the resistance forces and the malicious Count Vile, Vlad, and various other baddies. This is mo partially, you know, sort of set up for the two movies. Basically, the first, I believe it's 14 episodes, set up the first film and everything after that, you know, f from episode 15 to, I think, 39. You know, there are also, there's a Christmas special and an April Fool's episode. Anyway, f from episode 15 to 39, it's set up for the second movie. And, you know, you can watch both the movies independently of the show and the show independently of the movies. Although I will say that once you start watching the show, you might, you know, get to wanting to watch the movies. Which is probably the idea, since the movies are the ones you have to pay for. But they're well worth buying anyway. So yeah, the sh show really is a great place to start with this franchise if you know if you're unsure if you want to actually invest money in it because you know it's far from all video game parodies that are funny but Ed Glazer pretty well has it down now this the animation is not great but you know it once you get past that it is a great show the Voice acting also improves a bit after the first few episodes, I would say. In general, the show starts a bit slowly. You know, yeah, it, it, it comes off to a slow start. But, you know, if you stick with it through those first handful of episodes, the further you get, you know, it actually gets increasingly better the further you get into the show. You know, the jokes get, you know, swifter and, you know, better. And the references are, you know, get increasingly, you know, increase in number dramatically. As well as in cleverness. And, yeah, this does pretty well, you know, joke about and reference just about everything in the video gaming world in the last at least 20 years, possibly slightly more, you know, since the 90s, early 90s. Now, the voice acting, you know, in, in addition to the main cast, you know, Ed's friends, basically, and, you know, and several of the ones who also appear in the movies, in addition to those, you know, they got actual guest stars from, excuse me, famous video game voices, excuse me, which you can read more about on the site. The characters are, you know, one of the real strong points of the show. There's a ton of them and, you know, pretty much everyone, pretty much all of them are references to a certain type or a very specific character from you know one or several video games you know it, it's often the kind of ar archetype you know where it's like you know I know a lot of games that has you know that have a character like that and you know the way they behave and their their reasoning their motives and all these things you know very much related to that, and one of my personal favorite aspects of this franchise is the questioning of video game logic. You know, they point out things that we only really see in video games, and they, you know, they, they wouldn't fly anywhere else. And it's just, it's the things that you grow to accept when you play a lot of video games, and you know, if you actually stop to question it, it, you know, it really does make very little sense. 
You know, in addition, you have sort of silly humor, reference jokes, you know. The stories are quite good, and as it goes, it gets to be more and more, you know, sort of, you know, the you get to have more and more of a storyline. There is, you know, at first it is very much just these brief little snippets of this world and yeah, the further you go, you know, by, by the end, the last maybe third of the series is literally building up the second movie, you know, and that's great because it makes the second movie all the more impactful when you watch it, you know, it just, you, you can see how they, you know, how they got to the various points that they got to, you know, it, you know, it, it helps provide backstory, sort of, it, it fleshes out the world, which the movies obviously cannot do with their very limited running time. I believe this series itself comes to about two hours in running time, total running time. The music and, you know, yeah, the, well, there's not a lot of music, but what little there is, is great. And, you know, it's composed by Jake Kaufman, who also did the music for the movies, and the guy knows video game music, you know, he composes video game music, and he realized that funny parody music shouldn't just be, you know, silly and over the top, but it should still be good music. Sound effects vary somewhat, but, yeah. I suppose that's more or less what there is to say about it. One thing, the episodes can sometimes vary a bit. The world of video gaming is very wide and very varied, so... Two episodes in a row might be about two completely different aspects of video games, or from, you know, two completely different ages of video games, and, you know, they will kind of, I don't know if clash is the word, you know, but, you know, and also, you will not find every episode of, episode of this equally funny, I would say, you know. Even as big a fan of video games as I am, there's still a bunch of punchlines and references that I don't get, you know, so... But, yeah, as a whole, the series and the franchise, huge love letter to the medium of video games. So, yeah, if you at all like video games, I definitely recommend checking this out. And once again, the series is online for free, legally. So, yeah, go check it out. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.